I've promised you a cheaper version of dual displays for laptops, so here they are. Liming S20, let's go. Hey guys, in this comfortable pouch I have a set of dual displays from Liming. These are 15.4 inch ISP H full HD panels, so they are slightly bigger than the panels I covered in one of my last videos. So yeah, I thought I'm going to give it a go and review it for you because who doesn't like an extra screen estate? Oh, it's a good thing that I have a wide lens, isn't it? Because otherwise we would struggle here today. Right, I'm going to put it aside because I'm going to rely on B-roll for that, but uh, I'll get back to you. Adding extra displays to your computer is the best way to actually increase your productivity or boost procrastination. I know this because, well, I have extra displays, but I also have a 32-inch 4K display, which I usually split four ways to emulate four different 1080p displays. And personally, if you're working on a laptop, I would recommend you to go with 1080p displays because at that screen size, honestly, 4K, I don't think it matters that much unless you have a very specific need for it. So what you're getting in here are dual displays. They are 15.4 inch ISP panels capable of full HD. So 1920 by 1080p. These are advertised as compatible 15.6 up to 19 inch display, so perfectly fitted for my laptop, which is here, Zephyrus Duo, which has 16 inch, almost 16 inch, so I promptly mounted them on to check it out. Now, unlike the previous display, these are made out of plastic and they have a nice matte finish, so you won't get that annoying glare. While I was fitting them on my laptop, I've discovered that the mechanism that they use to retract and wrap around your screen isn't really spring-loaded, so you'll have to rely on your muscles to open it up and close it into a position. But my laptop was actually perfectly suited for them, and I didn't find any issues. There is a kickstand in here, which apart from being extended out, you can also uh, make it longer to adjust the angle to your preference. It might feel a little bit flimsy, but for the most part, it does the job okay. One of the things I weren't sure at first were those pillars, because they're significantly thick, and since the panels are slightly offset, I thought it would actually bother me, as the setup isn't exactly symmetrical. But truth be told, once the panels were mounted on my computer, I barely even noticed it. Yes, I could tell that the panels aren't in the same plane, but honestly, in the use, I don't even think about it. And the pillars, while being quite wide in the hand, once mounted on the computer, they seem to be much smaller. It does create a separation of the screen, but it might be down to your preference. Sometimes people prefer to have just a separate display rather than pretend to blend them into a single display with as little gap as possible. Cables are provided for this panel, so you'll find yourself USB Type-C, which is recommended to go with these panels because you don't have to provide external power. But if your laptop doesn't have that, you can still rely on HDMI because this one has mini HDMI port, which you can use utilize instead. Now, instead of I.O., there is really not much going on. There are a couple of buttons to control on-screen display, but the options in there are pretty standard. Once I've plugged everything in, everything was working from the get-go, and the only thing I've noticed that the panels were significantly dimmer than my um, laptop display. Now, they are advertised at 300 nits, and I found myself probably missing another 100 nits to match the brightness of my laptop at the full setting. If you are working indoors and it isn't particularly sunny, you're probably not going to even notice this, but if you are going to end up in a very exposed to the sun location, you'll find yourself missing those couple of steps of brightness. Apart from that brightness, I didn't really have to do anything to match the color of the panels to my main laptop display, so yeah, it's definitely very workable. To be fair, my only complaint is the cable management because uh, provided cables gonna stick out quite a bit and there is no uh, an easy way to manage the cables and make them a little bit neater, so you'll have to deal with that. I wish they offered custom cables that uh, you can select at the store and match your setup, so that way you're gonna get a nice braided soft cables that you can just simply hide alongside of your laptop and pretend they are not there. But well, unfortunately, this is not the option. In a day-to-day -day use, I find them to be quite helpful, especially if you don't want to change your setting like 
this living room into a permanent office. I mean, who would like to have sticking out big monitors waiting for your laptop to be connected? Instead of that, you can always hide them in a pouch provided, stick them into a drawer and only take them out when needed. It's a perfect solution for anyone that only needs a temporary office from time to time and would benefit from additional displays. So whether you're watching YouTube on the side while working or playing a game and procrastinating, these panels are pretty handy to have. And yes, they are 60 Hertz and my main display is 165 Hertz. Uh, so they might not be made for gaming. However, if you just want to have something on the side screen, they are, well, perfectly capable. Now to the pricing. I've mentioned you can actually get them slightly cheaper. This is because you can get the 14 inch version of this set. This is obviously 15.6, which will set you back around $600. But if you opt out for the 14 inch version, which is only a tiny little bit smaller, then you'll find out that you can lower the price to 449, which is, well, relatively reasonable. So yeah guys, if you're looking for dual displays and you're happy with the trade-offs, head to the description of this video for the link to this set and let me know what you think in the comment section below. As for now, I do not have a posting schedule. If you want to know what's next, then hey, you know how YouTube works, I'm not going to explain you that. But there is a couple of social media links listed down below, so consider following me there and get the conversation going via social media channels instead. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.